if you have an older generation Model 3, I'm sure you're envious at the new Model 3 that has built-in wireless charging for your phone. But that is no longer the case because you can easily retrofit a wireless charging pad into the exact same spot and get the same experience. So right here inside of this box in front of me, we have the Jawa wireless charger, but they take it a step further because it also supports dash cam and sentry mode in your Tesla. Pretty cool, huh? You can actually put a micro SD card inside of the charging pad so that way you don't need to take up one of the USB ports with a storage device. Because of course, we don't have that extra USB port inside the glove box to put the storage device. So let's get inside this box and take a look at what we're working with here. Very nice presentation, of course. We have wireless charger with dash cam and sentry mode for Tesla. 15 watts of wireless charging and iPhone fast charging. Although iPhones don't support 15 watts, so let's keep that in mind. And as you can see by looking at this diagram, we have vertical, vertical, as well as a horizontal charging pad so you can charge your phone no matter what orientation it's in. But of course, if you want to charge two phones, you're gonna to want to have them both vertically placed inside the charging pad. So now we can lift this up. On the back, we have some instructions on how to install it, but it's a very simple process. And here is the actual charging pad. It looks very nice. We have the nice carbon fiber design, although you can also get this in a wood grain design depending on what your style is. Although I have carbon fiber everywhere, so I of course want it to match. So this is actually a very nice design. I have another wireless charging pad already installed in my car, and it's not that great because it doesn't have this simple rubber piece right here in the middle. So of course, if you have one phone charging right here, you take a turn too fast, your phone flies over here and then it stops charging. That's no bueno and this definitely is gonna solve the problem. We also have three other rubberized strips to have some nice grip to keep your phone nice and in place. Down here on the bottom, we have three LED lights so that way you know your phone is charging, as well as right here underneath this little rubber cover, the all important micro SD card slot for dash cam and sentry mode. Whoever thought of this, was a genius. Now this particular charging pad is actually fitted with two USB-C ports on the back to plug into your car or your hub or whatever you happen to be using. Problem is, since I have the older generation, I only have two USB-A ports, but the good news is they got you covered here because also inside the box is one USB-C to USB-C port in case you do have USB-C ports, as well as two USB-C to USB-A cables, so that way you can use it on older models. So as you can see, they got you covered, and also down here on the back, we do have some rubberized grips to make sure this thing stays in place. Now I'm sure you're already kind of impressed with how much they got you covered here, but there's also, this is actually kind of cool, they also have a special little holder for AirPods too, so you can put your AirPods case in here, drop it onto the charger, and that way it'll stay in place and charge up your AirPods on the go in your car wirelessly. Now, of course, this is just made out of like a little bit of cardboard and some foam, but you know, it's better to have if you have AirPods. Now, they do have this in a bundle with an included micro SD card, or you can, of course, pick up a micro SD card separately or bring your own, and I happen to have a 256 gigabyte card right here, so, you know, just to show you guys how this is gonna work, very simple installation, I'm gonna pop out the micro SD card, and I'm gonna just get it installed real quick. So seriously, all I have to do, lift up this rubber, drop it into the slot, lock it into place, the rubber covers it up and protects it, and you're ready to go. Look, very sleek, very secure, I'm really impressed with the design. So this is looking like a very nice product. I'm gonna head outside of the car, get this thing installed and put it to the test. So getting this wireless charging pad installed is gonna be very simple. All you have to do is lift up this part. We have to remove this plastic piece in the front and that can easily be accomplished by sliding it to the left. And sometimes it just flies off. Try not to break it. We're gonna lift up our little sheet that we have here or your current wireless charging pad in my case. And we're gonna unfeed all these wires if you happen to have any. Next, we're gonna grab our new wireless charging pad. Seriously, just look at the difference between these two pads. One of them is clearly better. And as you can see, I have two USB-A ports, so I'm gonna be using the two USB-C to USB-A cables. So all I have to do, plug in the cable, plug in the second cable, put this back down. I'm gonna just feed the cables through the back. I can just reach in the back and pull them through. Make sure to get this charging pad nice and flush. Just like that, very easy. Next, we're gonna plug in the USB cables into the USB ports. And just like that, we're pretty much done. And now, as you can tell, I no longer need to have a USB thumb drive inside of there for dash cam because we have this slot right here for the micro SD card, which I'm going to install right now. So since this is a brand new micro SD card, we're gonna go into our settings, Go to safety and security, scroll up a little bit, and then we're gonna have to format the USB drive to enable dash cam. It's gonna format it, give us all the 
folders that are required for dash cam. And as you can see, we have the dash cam logo right up top. We're gonna hold it down. And now just like that, we're recording dash cam through our wireless charging pad, which is pretty amazing. And of course, you don't wanna to forget to put this back in to make it look nice. So we're just gonna get this, slide it back into place. And we're ready to go. Very nice, very seamless installation. And doesn't that look nice with this nice carbon fiber everywhere? Looks so sleek. And just like that, wireless charging does work even on an iPhone 12 Pro Max. Now, of course, I wanna make sure that this actually works. So let's save a video real quick. And now let's take a look at this said video and make sure everything plays correctly. Perfect, look at that. Video's playing perfectly. This is exactly where we saved it on the red dot. For some reason, Tesla's dash cam still isn't perfect. It always lags like this and I really hate that. But the good news is it's working exactly as expected and I'm actually really impressed that it's actually working. All right, so after I got this installed very easily, by the way, I can definitely recommend that you pick one up. Mainly for just one reason, because before, in order to use the dash cam and wireless charging, or I guess any charging at all, I had to have USB-A splitters and a USB card reader. And because of that, I had to have it split into here and sometimes it said the USB drive was malfunctioning because of something. I guess these cables aren't too great at splitting everything in there. So I was like, that's really dangerous because what if I got in an accident or something and it wasn't recording because it malfunctioned because of these cables. So with this, I have some peace of mind that it's gonna be working because it's all built into one interface and it's made to do exactly this. And plus, I really like those rubber grips, especially that rubber stopper in the middle to keep your phone nice and in place while you're doing invasive maneuvers. So if there's anything that I would recommend that you upgrade in your Tesla Model 3 or Model Y, it would definitely be this wireless charging pad with a micro SD card slot because it's so much easier. You have peace of mind, extra ports, fast wireless charging, and it just looks so sleek. So let me know if you're gonna pick one up. I'll have the link down below in the description. And let me know if you opt for the carbon fiber option like I did, or maybe the wood grain option because that's more your style. But I would definitely recommend this if you wanna have wireless charging as well as dash cam capabilities in your older generation Model 3. <laughs>